Okay, so hi guys and welcome back. In this video, we take a look at the FT951, 22 channels, 25 milliwatts, 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter. Which, and that is the special thing about this, comes with full CE and FCC certification. This certification is also the reason why it only offers to 22 channels, because a transmission on other channels is more strictly regulated in the European Union or the United States. So these 22 channels are the, well, let's say the safe channels to use, where you will actually get a CE and FCC certification for your product. But enough with this background. In this video we will check what is in the box, measure the dimensions of the video transmitter, measure how hot it gets during operation and finally measure the RF power of all of the 22 channels. Here we see what's in the box and first we take a look at the manual uh, which provides technical information as well as the 22 channels which it operates on, so the frequency of each of uh, this channel. As you can see it offers right input voltage from 6 to 30 volts. It does not offer any power out. Channels are set via the old school uh, way using a, a dip switch. Finally, we can also see the CEFCC certification of this product here in the manual. Next, uh, we have the um, VTX, the video transmitter itself, with its SMA connector, with its SMA antenna connector here. The VTX is quite small and uh, should be easy to mount on most crafts. It also comes with yet another rubber ducky antenna, which you well, definitely should not use. <laughs> Just get a clever leaf instead. This is the basic connector cable and finally here is also a GoPro cable supplied with it. As for the dimensions it's 25.8 mm long, 39.7 mm including the antenna connector. It is about 7 mm thick, 8.5 mm including the plug. The weight of it is 7.11 grams. We now power it up to get it to working temperature in order to measure its operating temperature. <laughs> As you can see, its working temperature stays well below 50 degrees Celsius, even without any airflow, which is very nice. Now let's start with the RF power measurements. I will fast forward them because I don't want to torture you with my lengthy attempts uh, at changing the tip switch. You can already see the results of the measurements as an overlay in the video and there is also a link to my website where you can review the results. As you can see the RF power output of the video transmitter is very well controlled, so that's a big plus. Uh, its range It ranges from 21 to 26 milliwatts with a tendency of higher output on the lower frequencies. So let's conclude. This is a very simple and basic video transmitter. Its advantages are the CEFCC certification, which can, for example, be a requirement in official races or other official events. Another advantage is its quiet low temperature, even without airflow. Additionally, the RF power output is very well controlled and within the specs of this device. These advantages are, well, maybe the missing power out, of course the tip switch, which is just a pain, <laughs> uh, and makes uh, changing channels quite painful, if you have to change the channels often. Okay, so, well, uh, thanks for watching this short review, I hope you liked this review, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe, and, well, please share this video, I would be honored if you do so. So many thanks for watching and see you next time.